do any live stuff, but we did a little bit of team stuff. I thought we got a little better, but uh, this will, our guys will practice. We'll practice Wednesday, we'll practice Thursday, give them spring break, and then finish up when we come back. So uh, I assume you, uh, you know, reviewed the film or whatever from the scrimmage the other night. Did anything jump out to you, positive, negative, either side of the ball? No, and I wasn't expecting a whole lot. I mean, it was, you know, it really wasn't a full-scale scrimmage, more like a practice. And uh, I thought uh, we moved around pretty quickly. I thought our quarterbacks ran, uh, made some good decisions and ran the ball well, which uh, knew didn't practice, of course, because of the hamstring, but uh, I thought the other three guys you know, did some decent stuff and, and uh, are getting a little bit better. And they threw the ball better today. This is probably the best our quarterbacks have thrown all spring was today, so uh, I thought they did a nice job. Coach Smith's doing a good job with those guys. Why do you think they suddenly sort of found their timing? Or their well, I don't know today? if it's suddenly or it's just, you know, we've been practicing and the same things. We haven't added a whole lot. We've been pretty sim simple with it, and, and I think they're starting to understand the timing of it. We've been trying to tell them to trust the timing because you know, we have timing on all of our routes and uh, today was a good day for that. Is this more of a quarterback competition than maybe some people would think? Oh sure it is. You know I, and I'm confident in Anu uh, and I'm confident in Brandon because they've played and of course Khalil and, and uh, Zach are in the competition as well but uh, I think our guys all know that you know we you, know, you compete for it all the time even during the season. So, uh, Brandon wore a red jersey the other night. But yeah. Khalil didn't. What, why is that the case? And what was always do that with. That? I always do that with the newcomers. I want them to see, uh, to be under the live uh, situation, so to speak. And so, I think that accelerates the learning process a little bit. And once I know they'll take a hit and not, and not, uh, you know, change their their mechanics because they're not live, then I'll take the jersey off. But usually it's their first initial spring or first initial camp. They'll be in the, in the, the white live jersey. We don't hit them much anyway. But after that, and once they prove themselves, so to speak, we, we put them in the red. Like a, like a lot of athletic quarterbacks, is Khalil having the issue? First read's not there, kind of take off. Has that been? Well, no, not that's not been bad. You know, his, his biggest issue now is, is obviously being decisive in both the run and the pass game. And as he learns, uh, He'll get he'll get uh, better at that. But that's again he's been in a Division One system for ten practices and his progress has been really good. Is Brandon more confident now after last season and getting into the season? He should be. I think he got a lot of confidence in the ASU game. He was really nervous, as as you would expect, and as the game went along, he calmed down a little bit, and I can sense his confidence. But the biggest thing with that is is. Uh, taking advantage of your opportunity and taking the next step in preparation. I think he's done that, but there's another level I think he'll get to this summer. Him and uh, Anu and the rest of the guys as well. How do you feel about the center position uh, at this point in camp? Zach's been pretty solid. Uh, you know, we still need some competition there, and I think we can play Zach at guard and center, but he's a veteran, and I know it's important to him to win the job, so uh, he's had a good spring. Have there been a lot of errant snaps, or is, that, is the snapping been That's pretty good? That's been good. Smash snaps of, uh, we've had one or two, uh, but like today I don't think we had a single one, so the stats have been good all spring pretty much. Is that something you guys are more focused on this or just continue We're always focused on that. We do a lot of center quarterback exchange, probably more than anybody in the country. We start off practice with it and we do it the whole entire practice. So, uh, you know, last year, you know, we had a new guy there and I came and did a, a really good job. Uh, for the most part, never snapping his life and doing that. But you know, our centers that we have now, with Zach and Levi and those guys, have been doing it for years now. Do you, uh, do you have a punter right now? Not a starter. And I couldn't tell you. We punted today, and I couldn't tell you who the guy is right now. I noticed you were giving some technique um, coaching the other night to one of to one of the guys. On uh, which I'm one? Punting. Oh, on punting? Yeah. Maybe. I, no. I, I, had, I know not, not punt returning. I know that. No, punt returning. I, I, was, I was getting out of the way. Now I get hit in the head. But uh, um, I, our punters have done pretty well. But we've not done a lot of special teams other than field goal uh, this spring. Now, we'll, have, we'll probably have a practice this week. We do a lot of special teams and one in the last week. Uh, but we haven't done a whole lot of kickoffs or punting uh, so far this spring. What, uh, how much progress has Shun Brown made since his uh, freshman year? I think a lot. I mean, he's, a, he's a very coachable guy. Uh, he loves football. I mean, he's in his family. You know, understands understands the game. And uh, he's had an outstanding spring, I think. Um, Sammy Morrison didn't participate the other day. Do you know, do you know what happened to him? 
Yeah, I do, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you got the injury question. Yeah, he's a little banged up, and uh, I'm hoping we'll get him and maybe a couple guys back after the after the break. After the break. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Thank okay. You.